Recently, I've been using Topaz on most of my images. It gets around a major problem with editing Fuji files in Lightroom, that sort of worming effect that you get when you sharpen images. Run your files through the new Photo AI and it will apply basic sharpening and denoise to your files, but leave them with all the benefits of a raw file that, that can then be edited in Lightroom. But Adobe have just put a spanner in the works with their new AI denoise function, and I wanted to know which one was better. Well, first, let's take a quick look at the new tool. Denoise is very simple to use. You just have to make sure you have version 12.3 installed or version 6 if you're using the new Lightroom. To access it, you either right click on the image and choose Enhance, or in develop mode, click on the new Denoise button in the noise reduction menu. And here's my first tip. Like all of the Enhance functions, Denoise makes a new copy of your file, so you're probably going to want to do this before making any edits. And it's important to note that if you're using this feature, it's not possible to use the Enhance Detail feature at the same time. Once you click on the button, a new window comes up where you can choose the level of the effect. By default, it's set to 50%. But it's worth playing around with just to see what works best for your image. Now, onto the comparison. I always seem to have a problem with images straight out of Topaz, and you can see that uh, this one's become incredibly dark. The good news is all of the information is still there, and with a bit of playing around with it, basically gets you back to where you were. It's an added step, which I know other camera systems don't have to contend with, but it's worth it for the right results. Enhance, on the other hand, is a different kettle of fish. It gets the image much closer to the original straight off the bat. I do notice that Topaz can occasionally drop some colours in certain images, and we can see this on the bark of the tree, where some of the reds appear to have been removed. Other than that, though, the denoising on both is incredibly good. It gets the job done, and you're left with a clean image. It appears that the major benefit of Topaz is really the enhanced sharpening that it does. However, if you're not trying to fix an out-of-focus image, you don't really need it, as Lightroom's own sharpening algorithm will usually get you to where you want to be. As an example, here is a young black cap. This is a really big blow-up from the 26 megapixel X-T3. You can see that the image is very noisy, but look at what happens when we apply Lightroom's denoise. Now, to me, this is a bit of a game changer, and it's nice not to have to go outside the Lightroom environment to get the results that I'm looking for. What really surprised me was the level of detail that Topaz seemingly removed from the image. Look at the arch here. There seems to be so much more detail in the stonework of the Lightroom edit. The Topaz version is sharp, but at what cost? Now, to be totally fair to the two programs, this is also something that you have a little control over. For these tests, I have basically let Topaz decide what level of enhancements should be done. On a normal edit, you would want to review this and make any changes before doing the enhancements. And I've also noticed a bit of a problem with people. Now, I promised my mum I wouldn't show this image because she's a little bit self-conscious, but I took a picture of my mum at an ISO of 12,800. It was very noisy, as you can imagine. Adding denoise did a fantastic job of taking away the grain of the image, but it also added a sort of... plastinization might be a good word for it. It started to make the skin look very plastic. There are also problems if somebody has a particularly craggy face. Lightroom Denoise thought all of that character was actually noise and it needed to be removed, and it left me with a very unrealistic image in the end. Topaz did a better job from the start. The skin was better, the enhancement smoother and more realistic. It also has the uh, option to enhance faces, which really makes a difference. But where does that leave us? Overall, I really like Lightroom's new denoise feature. I think that it would be superior in most cases. There are some instances, however, where the grain is too much, the image is too blurred, or where the algorithm doesn't quite get it right, where Topaz is going to get you a better result. If you're thinking of getting Topaz, I would suggest waiting for a bit, try this out first, and see if it does what you need. If you already have it, 
perhaps the new Lightroom will mean that you don't have to keep up that subscription going, that yearly subscription. But for me, I know that some of the wildlife images that I've taken, they just need a little bit more than the denoise that's available in Lightroom to make them really shine. That's why I got Topaz in the first place. And I think uh, it would take another major update from Adobe before I could potentially drop the tool altogether. I am really impressed with what Adobe has done though. And whilst I won't be dropping Topaz anytime soon, they have certainly given it a run for its money. But what do you think? Have you used these tools before? Which did you prefer? Let me know in the comments. That's all for this video. Thanks ever so much for watching. If you're interested in hearing more about AI and Lightroom, why not click on this video down here somewhere? And until next time, keep taking those photos.